Devastating fires in Australia, killing at least 18 people, forcing tens of thousands from their homes. And many of those residents, as well as tourists, are seeking state shelter of emergency now from declared this morning in parts of Australia. Beaches. Thousands fleeing as more than 200 fires rage in two of Australia's most populated states. Accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein is dead. That's right, pedophile and fake billionaire Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in his jail cell after he apparently committed suicide on Saturday morning. Which, if you ask me, is some bullshit. The U.S. and Iran on the brink, and the president alerting Congress tonight the U.S. will respond with force if Iran retaliates for the drone strike that killed top Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani. The growing health scare, the respiratory virus outbreak coming from China, now setting off global concerns. Doctors at around the world are making contingency plans for a and full we're of more pandemic cases. caused Here's by ABC coronavirus. Stephanie Rock. And stock markets fall, cases are spreading further and further from the original outbreak in China. Sports events are at a standstill in many areas of Asia. While the coronavirus continues to spread at speed, this time, a week ago, there were under 3,000 cases in China. There are now more than 17,000 and more than 360 people have died. Outside China, there are more than 150 confirmed cases, and we now have a fatality in the Philippines, too. King As we go to air tonight, the United Floyd, States is being rocked by an explosion right of violence and death. anger. Crowds have taken held by over to see Minneapolis right there, four as payback for the death of an unarmed black man at the hands of police. A state of emergency has been declared the and the National Guard is and now on the streets trying to seize control. Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison announced the charges will be filed against all four officers. And there has been a huge explosion in the Lebanese capital, Beirut. A blast happened in the port around two hours ago. It rocked the whole city. It shattered windows over a large area. Many people thought there'd been an earthquake. In fact, hospitals are said to be overwhelmed by casualties.